So, whenever it snows here, it always, um, you know, if it does end up sticking, which only happens a couple times a year, then by the time the sun comes up, the snow is all gone. Um, so, this is me walking to school. It's about 7.30 in the morning, going to school, and there's still snow, because the, the sun's only just barely come up. As you can see, most of everything is still shadow. And um, today is a half day, so I'll actually be going home at about 1. And by then, I predict the snow will be gone. Um, and this is, this is a day when I go to my closest school and I'm like, why couldn't I go to this school yesterday? Why did I have to go to the far away one? But actually, I'm pretty glad because yesterday it was just harmless snow, but today it's like ice because it's pretty cold today too. So all of the partially melted slush has become ice. So in the long run, I guess it was okay. Anyway, oh, it's covered in ice. Nice. Oh my god, it was glorious. I got to break all of this ice. Because no one else walks this route into the school. I got to do all of it. And now I'm late for work. I'm now leaving the school. It's still super cold, and it's pretty windy. So that makes it kind of tough. But, as you can see, most of the snow is gone. Aside from the, the uh, sections that don't see any sun, you know? This is obviously no sun. But all the sunny spots, definitely no snow. Oh, one of the kids lost a glove. I'm sure they'll find it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, as predicted, snow in the sun is all gone. I mean, even just, like, right there, just the snow. Oh, but it's so cold. It's so cold. I could do without this frid frigid, chilly weather. So, I'm going home today and not going to another school, because this wind is... going in such a way that if I were biking to my school, then it would be in my face the entire time. And that just makes everything so difficult. I would rather it be snowing with no wind than it to be sunny with wind when I'm biking because it's just so hard, so hard to go in the wind. Oh, just so difficult. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my day. Today was really fun. It was just a half day. And you know, usually on Wednesdays I have fifth grade. But today I had fourth grade for some reason. And so I was teaching them, oh, I guess someone's moving in or moving out, I guess. Um, I was teaching them places around town like hospital and post office and that kind of stuff. And we were playing Pictionary, and it was, uh, it was really fun to just see the kind of pictures that kids draw. And, you know, some of them are just so, so good. Most of them are pretty bad, but some just really surprise you, and they'll draw, like, a beautiful picture that you don't expect. So that's why, to be safe, I always, I always um, award, uh, like, prettiest picture award point. So not only like the the group that guesses it, but also the group, oh my god, the group that has the best picture. Look at this. And this. <laughs> That's so cute. So one of my fourth graders lives here, and one of my third graders lives here, and they made snowmen. That's adorable. That just made my day. And actually, that, that kid, that fourth grader, he's one of those kids that surprises you and is like really good at drawing. Just like needlessly good at drawing. Like, 
you know, he, he's drawing a, a ambulance for hospital as fast as he can. And it comes out like looking beautiful, like better than it would have looked if I had drawn it and had tried really hard. So, um, oh, cool. So cool. Uh, so remember my rain pants yesterday? <laughs> um, I <laughs> ripped them in half. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> I, I felt liberated as I did. Anyway, I'm chilly. Bye.